What's going on YouTube? Ray from Philly here on this Wednesday night, May the 8th, 2019. And I just want to share a trip that I made to my uh, piece at LCS store on Saturday, May 4th, just this past Saturday. Um, my card shop owner has a what he calls uh, the annual fun day, which I guess you can consider a customer appreciation day. Uh, but he calls it fun day and it is a lot of fun. Uh, the name of the business uh, card store is Media Card and Sports in Media, Pennsylvania. So if you ever buy that area, make sure you stop in, tell them I sent you. Um, it's a great store. I hang out there every Saturday. And it was games and prizes. And he gave away pizza. And we had food and drink soda and all that. Flipped cards for prizes, things like that. It was good for kids and for adults. So uh, I'm going to show you some of the things that I got there for the fun day for that I won and just as a prize given away some really cool neat things. So I'm going to flip the phone around and show you guys. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to thank everybody as well. I just reached uh, 1,200 subscribers, uh, 1,200 subscribers in a couple years. I think I started this at the end of 2015. So it's about uh, three and a half years so I just want to thank everybody for all your support I greatly appreciate it you guys have been great this community is awesome so thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support uh, so now I want to get to uh, flip the phone around and show you guys some of the things that I picked up from my card shop this past Saturday so hold on okay and we're back so first off I want to show you guys this neat little cool bobblehead that I got of recently added Hall of Famer Jim Tomey. This is Jim Tomey when he was with the Phillies. This would go nice in my Hall of Fame bobblehead collection that I have. And this is the inside of Veteran Stadium in Philadelphia. See it says Phillies, the vet 1971 to 2003. That's how long the vet was around. So I'll put that right up here somewhere. I'll squeeze it in, add that to the Hall of Fame collection for the bobbleheads. <clears throat> Next up is an interesting piece. It's football related, and you guys really don't see me show too much football. So shout out to Scotty Tradition, Bart 81 USAF, who are our football collectors here on YouTube. So I'm going to show you this interesting piece. All right, so it's, let me get a zoom out a little bit here. It's this wooden box that my LCS owner had and asked if I wanted it. And I said, sure. Thought it was pretty cool. I'm going to zoom in and give you guys a closer look. But I first wanted to just kind of give you an idea. It's just a wooden box, a nice wooden box with some cool Hall of Famers in here. So let me uh, zoom in and give you guys a closer look of what's in here. It's actually pretty cool. So over here you have Slinging Sammy Ball. Let me get a better focus. I'm trying to read it. It says uh, it has his, <clears throat> his height, six foot two, 180 pounds, born March 12, 1914, quarterback of the Washington Redskins, 1937. Uh, below that, right here, it says Canton Bulldogs, the first powerhouse team, won the first NFL championship while compiling an undefeated 10 0 and 2. Over here, Don Hudson. Below that, it says led the NFL in receiving eight years, caught 488 passes for 79. 7,991 yards and 99 touchdowns, MVP of 1941 and 42. And that just says the kicking technique, Jim Thorpe, Olympic champion, played for the 1916 Canton Bulldogs, Marion Motley, all-time rushing champion of the All-American Football Conference, NFL rushing champion 1950, Bronco Nugurski, and I guess his height and weight, born night, November 3rd, 1908, number three fullback, Chicago Bears, 1930 to 37, 
and there's just some referee signals kicking the ball Super Bowl trophy so I thought this was I don't know interesting <laughs> something to have I don't know where I'm going to put it in here I mean it's pretty I don't know what it's made out of if it's plastic or what it doesn't feel like plastic but it feels a lot harder than that so it looks pretty cool so I'll put that down and then lastly was this Baseball American postcard book let me take the price tag off because I didn't pay anything for this. Baseball Americana Postcard Book Edition 2. 32 picture postcards ready to mail from the Charles Martin Conlon Collection. Baseball Immortals, Smithsonian Institute. So I'm going to take this out of the plastic top loader and just kind of page through this real quick I thought this was really interesting over here you have Tyrus Raymond Cobb Georgia Peach again Cobb over here you have uh, Charles Conlin Henry Lewis Garrick Iron Horse and if you look at the back of these, these are actual postcards. Next up, again, you have Lou Gehrig and <clears throat> Schoolboy Hoyt. Down here, Carl Hubble and Miller Huggins. Over here, Walter Johnson and William Joseph, the old arbiter Kern. Clem, sorry, William Clem. William Frederick Luteris, and to the right, Pepper Martin. Joseph Vincent McCarthy is to the left. John McGraw to the right. Up top we have Christy Mathewson. Both pitchers here are of Christy Mathewson. And over here we have uh, Frederick Charles Merkel, the Merkel Boner, and Robert Bob Musel, Mel Ott, Roger Thorpe Peckinball to the right. And trying to get this next page. It's kind of hard with one hand. Over here we have Herb Pennock, George Herman Babe Ruth, Babe Ruth again, Henry Bucketfoot Simmons, Aloysius Simmons, that's Al Simmons. Over here we have Tristram Spoken Gray Eagle Speaker. That's Trish Speaker. Charles Dillon Casey Stengel. Down here we have uh, William Terry or Bill Terry and Pie Trainer. And let's see if there's a last page. And there is. The last page is Little Poison Wainer and Paul Wainer. Hack Wilson, Rube Waddell, and John Peter Honus Wagner. And again, these are postcards by the Charles Conlon collection. So it was a nice prize to get. I thought it was very cool. So there you have it, guys. I just wanted to give you just a quick little video of pickups from my LCS on the annual customer service appreciation day, fun day as we call it. All right guys, I appreciate all your likes and comments. Again, thank you for helping me reach 1200 subscribers. I'll be back again tomorrow night with more graded cards.
keep on loving the hobby and make sure, like I always say, have fun with it. Talk to you guys real soon. So long.